No, the outcome will not be more chaos. What the Chinese are doing is just recovering lost face, basically, which is a very sort of, you know, necessity for Xi to show to his people that he's, you know, kind of putting grand Chinese ambitions first in this sort of regard. So they're doing this to make a point, which is, well, you've, you know, come into our area, we're going to come into yours as well. I, I take the point that, you know, you might want to not want to poke bears or dragons in this case. Mm. But there is something important we've learned from the Ukraine lesson, which is, for a long time, we allowed... Vladimir Putin to basically get his own way on Ukraine and tell us what, you know, I'm going to slice a bit off here, I'll take a bit there. And, do, and we did very little to prevent him from going forwards. I think one lesson of Ukraine is that the free world has to be much more open about what it values in its defence and be much more clear to others to say, look, this is a red line and you can't cross it because we are going to be defending the other side. There was that element of ambiguity over Ukraine, if you recall, mm. which perhaps encouraged Putin. Well, there should be, you know, th visits like this show there should be no such ambiguity of China. China may, we're still, say, uh, may we're, we're well wish to invade ultimately, but it won't be able to do so on the basis it won't know what the Western response is. But what if China now starts to impose sanctions on the West? I know this, I, as we have done on Russia. What does that mean for us here? Given that we buy so much from China. Yeah, but it won't, because for that very reason, because we buy so much for China. So China's not going to cut off its own markets right now for something that is a minor infraction as far as the real issue goes. Nancy Pelosi going, they've made a very big thing about it. I mean, Simon is right, anything they can turn into that kind of advantage. There is no prospect of China whacking on massive sanctions and us. it would hurt them more. Than, remember, their own economy mm. is, in, is in a terrible state as well. COVID is rampant there. They're trying a, a crazy zero COVID strategy that isn't going to work, as we've all known for a long time. Industrial output's down. This is not the time for them to be doing that because the Chinese regime needs stability, not instability.